If your reservoir has not completely leaked out, make sure to catch the washing fluid and reuse it or dispose of it correctly. Begin by safely raising and supporting the vehicle. You're going to start work in the front trunk area and remove the battery cover, red arrow, and the left side trim pieces, blue arrow. Need additional assistance with any of those tasks, please follow the link provided at the end of this video. You are going to remove the fill spout. It is held in place by a plastic clip on the spout, red arrow. Lift this back and slide the spout back off of the tank. This image shows the spout off the tank and the clip that you are going to lift back on, red arrow. With the left front wheel removed, you're going to remove the rear section of the wheel well liner. There are five T27 Torx screws, red arrows, and three 10 millimeter plastic nuts, blue arrows. Remove these and remove the liner from the wheel well. You can separate the windshield line from the chassis here, red arrow, or at the pump. I just leave it attached and separate it from the tank at the tabs on the side indicated by the blue arrows. Use a 13 millimeter socket and remove the single nut holding the tank in place, red arrow. Wiggle the tank slightly up and down as you pull it forward. Remove the line from the tabs on the side by the fender, red arrow. The reservoir sits in two grommets in the chassis, blue arrows. If one or both of these grommets come off with the tank, just replace them back into the chassis. The headlight washer pump is located on the outside lower section of the tank and indicated by a red arrow. Separate the wiring connection red arrow, pull the pump out and replace the rubber grommet blue arrow. Separate the fluid line. Again use a heat gun to help soften the line when separating green arrow. Installation is the reverse of removal. The headlight pop-up washers can get filled with debris over the years but are easy to replace. Red arrow. Simply use a small pick and insert it between the nozzle and the housing. Pull up on the nozzle until it releases. Installation is the reverse of removal. Simply push it down until it clicks into place. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.